Thousands of people in Haiti are still recovering after Hurricane Matthew ripped through the island last month. Many lost their farmland and homes, but one but with the help of one Worcester organization, they have a large shipment of food, clothing, and much more headed their way. Our Olivia Lemon was at Be Like Brit today and has the details. More than 30,000 pounds of donated goods stuffed into a storage container depart the Be Like Brit driveway Friday. Items like food, clothing, and toiletries will be shipped to Haiti to help Hurricane Matthew victims. Hopefully by the year end, we'll actually end up in Grand Guave, Haiti, so that we can help all of our neighbors. Cheryl Ann Gangle and her husband Len started the Be Like Brit Foundation after their daughter Brittany was killed in the 2010 Haiti earthquake. The foundation built an orphanage in Grand Guave, Haiti, where 66 children live. Our main focus is raising the next generation of leaders in Haiti. Gengel says although their orphanage did not receive much damage, they want to help surrounding communities facing devastation after Hurricane Matthew. It's for those that lost their tent. It's for those that their agri the agriculture is gone, that their land is ruined, that they can't um, grow any crops now until the next season. Their housing isn't housing like we see here, so any type of heavy rain is going to wipe out what they have. Volunteers like Lauren Guad say the outpouring of support from the Worcester community after the hurricane has been amazing. Overwhelmingly inspiring just to see the incredible amount of uh, generosity of people around, people who want to help. Amazing amount of continued flow that, you know, we ended up filling this thing, which we didn't think we would. Now the donations are on their way to the port of Boston. They are expected to be shipped out on Tuesday. Gengel says they should arrive in Haiti by the end of the year. Brittany, 